Hi guys, how is it going? I'm Court McGinley. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about six ways to tell if someone is lying to you. Number six, grooming. Sure, us girls may play with our hair from time to time, so either we're just checking on our hair, or apparently this could be a sign that we're lying about something. When responding to a question, a woman who's lying may play with her hair or adjust her shirt, while a man may adjust his tie or maybe touch his glasses. And let's not forget about sweat. If a person is lying, they tend to perspire more than normal. Another grooming gesture is tidying their surroundings. This is done to distract you from what they're saying. Number five, has an answer to everything. This one I really believe to be true. If you ask someone what they did last week, unless they went to a party or did something of importance, it's going to take them a minute to think about it and give you an answer. But if someone's lying, then they've already thought of what they're going to say down to every last detail. This is usually something a teenager will do when they're lying. So if something seems rehearsed or a little too much detail is given and there's no hesitation before they give an answer, then there's a good chance you're being lied to. Number four, covering their face. When someone is being deceptive, it's likely that they'll cover their mouth or eyes. This is because the natural body reaction when you lie is to cover the lie. The lie is coming out of your mouth, so you cover your mouth. And eyes are always a dead giveaway. So people tend to cover their eyes as well while they're responding to a question that they know they're going to be dishonest about. Basically, it's like shielding themselves. Some people will even go as far as to close their eyes completely if they feel bad about lying. They don't even really realize they're doing it, but it's just a natural reaction. Number three, clearing your throat. There's a reason this one is always used in the movies when someone's lying, and that's because it's something that will often happen. If someone clears their throat prior to answering a question, then you may have a problem. This will sometimes happen due to the fact that psychologically the question could have created a spike in anxiety, which can cause discomfort or dryness of the mouth and throat. Number two, eye contact. If someone is lying to you, they're going to avoid eye contact at all costs. Unless they're like a psychopath or they really mastered lying, which sometimes go hand in hand, I'm just saying. Or you know they could be planning a surprise for you, but they don't want to give anything away. And in that case, it's okay. But what I've noticed from personal experience is when you're talking to someone, they will usually make eye contact with you and they'll continue to do so until they start lying. Then all of a sudden their eyes will dart to the side. They will almost always tend to look away when they are lying and then once they've said what they had to say, they will make eye contact with you yet again. Now this one kind of works to your advantage because they aren't even aware they're doing it. So it's a good way to catch someone in the act, but be more discreet about it. Number one, verbal disconnect. A common verbal or non-verbal disconnect to look for is when a person nods while saying no, or if the person turns their head from side to side while they're saying yes. Turns out our brains are wired in a way that causes our verbal and non-verbal behaviors to match up. So when there's a disconnect such as the examples I just mentioned, that's considered a deceptive indicator. Well there you guys go, that's our six ways to tell if someone is lying to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.